This is Deepdale, home to Preston North End, inaugural league champions, first ever double winners. The original Invincibles. As they swept all before them, 35 miles away, Newton Heath became Manchester United and another giant was born. Preston's success didn't last forever. The FA Cup in 1938, their last major trophy. But they gave us one of the greatest. And there it is by Todd Finney. Whilst down the road, a Scotsman arrived and built a legacy of success upon their own supreme talent. Charlton, Law and Best. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. When these sides last met, all three were on the field. The score, 2-0 to the visitors. In the years since, Preston pioneers became the Football League's nearly men. While in Manchester, another Scottish dynasty went from strength to strength and conquered. Two histories occasionally intersecting, trajectories far apart. But today isn't about the past, it's about the here and now. This is the FA Cup. I wanted to be a professional footballer, and I had only one ambition in life, and that was to play for Preston North End. There's the first goal by Todd Finney. He would wait to see how the situation was, if he was going to take the fullback out on, on his right-hand side. If it wasn't back, he would try his left. He's still the king of Preston. Tom Finney, he shoots, and it's a goal. Tommy Finney had everything, and he always did the opposite that you think he was going to do. If I had my choice of picking a, a player in the whole world, with my life at stake, I would pick Tommy Finney. To be able to play something that you really enjoy playing and would play for nothing, and to be paid for it in the bargain and see the world, you know, what could one ask for anything better? Uh, there's uh, also our very own Mark Lawrence and five league titles with Liverpool, but Preston through and through. This place is in my soul. I've been a supporter here since six or seven. My dad played here, eventually my mum remarried and my stepfather used to be a director here. So they've just been a part of my life for, well, over 50 years, if I'm being totally honest. So um, it's in there somewhere, it's in my heart. When I was a kid, my rules at home were, got straight back in, changed my clothes, took the evening paper around, had my tea, and I was allowed two hours out to go and play football. I'd been here for a trial for a, for a couple of games and I signed schoolboy forms. Uh, at the age of 14, and so Bobby Charlton got the job here as, as player manager at Preston North End. And in the middle of taking my A-levels, he asked me to come to the ground one day, and I thought he was going to say, you know what, thanks, but no thanks, you're not good enough. And he said, we'd like you to sign professional forms. This will be my first picture here, look at it. Look at the state of that bonnet. How good is that? When I made my debut, that was utopia for me. It really seriously was. And I was absolutely, totally made up. And you could have said to me, you aren't playing again for the rest of your life. And I'd have just gone, I'm not bothered, I played for Preston. My father made his debut in the team alongside Sir Tom Finney. And would you believe, I've got a picture at home, and my dad's in the middle, Sir Tom's at one side, Sir Tom Finney, and Sir Ralph Ramsey is at the other side. Certainly the most cherished picture that I have and that I possess. Liverpool have won the double. I won the FA Cup in 86 with Liverpool. And my great thing about signing for Liverpool was that I wanted to win the league. Although I'll let you into a little secret. You try telling people when they get to the FA Cup final that you'd rather win the league. I think they say, no, the day, the day can't be beaten. The day you win the FA Cup, the build up, the whole kind of thing just cannot be beaten. The thing in those days was, if you scored a goal in the garden against your mate, you scored the winner in the FA Cup. It was always, 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 FA Cup final winning goal. I scored loads. That Cup final as well, of course, with it being Everton, was Gary Lineker's one and only year with Everton. Um, and he scored in the first half. Hansen's fault. I don't know where he'd gone, Hansen. He just completely got caught. He used to give us great grief about it. But obviously, myself and Hansen always said to him, yeah, but you lost. We won. Yeah, you did. Still <laughs> not got over it. <laughs> Well, what an occasion. It really could hardly be better set up. Falcao tries to tear up Rooney. 
through towards Laird here. Laird with a chance to shoot, and Laird scores! He's got it through the hair! Herrera maybe with the chance, the ball's gone in! Fellaini, blocked by Stuckman, followed up by Fellaini! Stuckman brings it down, Wayne really fires Manchester United into the... Uh, goodbye. <laughs>